Hello everyone, if you want to define the layout of the data you are working with like customer records, product lists, employee databases and more, then creating a schema is the best option for you. By having a clear schema, you can ensure consistent data entry and easy tracking. It can be also used for project management, data analysis and event planning. So this is Jihad Rianjim from Excel Demi and today we will learn several steps on how to create a schema in Excel. So let's talk about what is a schema. A schema is actually a particular type of XML document format. XML stands for Extensible Markup Language. An XML schema describes the interactions between an XML object's attributes and components. Creating a schema requires analyzing the structure of a document and attributing definitions to each and every structure element. Before going into the steps, let's talk about the data set a bit. Here we have product ID, category, region, quantity and rating. In each and every row, we have got the ID and entry of the certain categories. So, we want to create a schema with the help of this data set. For this tutorial, I'll be using Microsoft Excel 365. So, without any further discussion, let's get started. At first, we need to enable the developer tab. So, we'll go for the file tab, go for the options and in the Excel options, we'll be going for customize ribbon. Here in the customize the ribbon section, we'll go for the developer tab, tick on it and click OK. So, we have enabled the developer tab here. At this point, we have prepared the schema file in the notepad. You can download this XML file from the description box below. Let's talk about the code a bit. The first line of the code is mandatory for all types of schema based XML files. Now, we have used the dataset which is the root element that wraps up the entire dataset. The entry of the dataset is started by using the record. Each record represents a set of data for a specific product. Inside record, we have the heading of product ID, category, region, quantity, rating, and etc. And the whole set of record represents the first data of the data table. After that, we have inserted the data of product ID, category, region, quantity, rating in between the starting and the ending of this section. So, after inserting the first record, we have again gone for the second record by going the record and the same on like the previous one. And we have ended the code by using the ending of the dataset. Let's save this code by going to the file, save as, and now set the area where we want to save the code. Go for schema.xml and save the file here. Now, let's return to the main worksheet. Go for the developer tab and in the XML, go for the source. And here we have got XML source option. Go for the XML maps to open XML maps dialog box. Go for the add option and in the select XML source, you need to go for the pathway that you have saved the code. Go for schema.xml, press open and now you have got the schema file here. Click OK and now you have got the record here. Now we have the column headers from the schema based XML file in the side panel. So we'll drag it from there to the main heading here. And after that, it will bold if it is done quickly, then go for the category and do the same region, quantity, rating. So we have successfully mapped the column headers from the schema based XML file to Excel worksheet. Let's export the Excel file and observe the output. So we'll go for the developer tab and in the XML, we'll find export option click on it and select the output file. So write down output.xml and click the export option. After that, we need to open the XML file where we have saved. Let's go for the output.xml where we have saved. Click to open and now you will see that you have got the perfect output XML here. Let's try to compare it with our Excel file. So let's see whether the output is working correctly or not. 
So here in the output section, we have got the first record of product ID 051456. It is similar to the first record of the main worksheet. And if we go to the second case, then it will show the second record of our main worksheet. And in the third case is the same. So in every case, the XML5 has mapped our current Excel file correctly. So that's how we can create a schema in Excel. That's it for today. You can follow these steps accordingly or you can download the practice workbook from the link below. Hope this will help you. If you have any questions, suggestions or feedback, please let us know in the comment section. Or you can have a glance at exceldemy.com. Thanks for watching our video. If you like this video, please consider subscribing for more content like this.